Hey doll fans! Welcome back to Plum Sparkles. In today's video, we are going to be looking at my personal favorite dolls that American Girl has ever made. So, without further ado, let's get into it! My favorite American Girl doll that American Girl has ever made is Chrissa Maxwell. I think she is super underrated. I love her story. I love her clothes. I love her collection. And I think she's really beautiful with those stunning blue eyes. Really pretty. I think she's just a gorgeous doll. Also, she probably has my favorite meat outfit out of any girl of the year ever. She is so beautiful. I also think her story is very important. It deals with a lot of topics that are very relevant to today's world. And I think she's just a really well-crafted doll. My second favorite doll is probably Blair Wilson. I love her story. It's very cottagecore, a farmy aesthetic, which I love because that is absolutely my aesthetic if you've watched my clothing haul. And um, I believe Blair is vegan, which is really cool because I myself am vegan, so that's pretty cool. Um, you guys already knew that as well, but that is so cool because she is actually lactose intolerant, so she can't have dairy. So that is really awesome. Um, I'm not lactose intolerant, I just choose not to have dairy for moral purposes, but um, yeah, she actually can't have dairy. So that is really, really cool that they shed light on that and made her vegan, I'm pretty sure. Um, I also think it's just really cute. Um, I love her clothes. They're all stuff I would wear. And I love her meat hairstyle. I also think she's probably one of the prettiest dolls that American Girl has ever made. And yes, let's appreciate that beautiful waterfall meat hairstyle again. The next doll would probably be Pleasant Company Kaya. Not the Beef Forever Kaya because I am personally not a fan of the Beef Forever Kaya. I don't like the face mold. Because if you were unaware, they changed the face mold um, from this beautiful face mold that you see right there to a different face mold. And it just looks different than the one I remember in my childhood. Am I salty and biased? Heck yeah. So here is an original Pleasant Company Kaya. Not white bodied, but still a Pleasant Company Kaya. And yeah. Um, the number three spot goes to Pleasant Company Kaya's in general. The ones that aren't modernized because I love the historical ones. I have a special connection with this doll. I got her hair done. The making Girl store, which you can't see because, um, she is wearing a hat. And she was my first ever doll, so I have a lot of connection to her. For number four, I am going with World by Us. All of the dolls, except Kira, in the line, um... So that includes Yvette, Maritza, and Makina. I currently do not have Maritza, but I plan to get her very soon. So I am just showing you Yvette and Makina here. So, World by Us dolls. I love the diversity. I love the doll of colors. And I love Yvette's Earth theme and cottagecore outfit. This is 100% an outfit I own and wear, and I love it. And I love the new face mold. For Makina. And Maritza, I love the fact that she has the Joss face mold, so that's awesome. And the fifth and last favorite American gold doll that I own is the goal of the year for 2022, Corinne Tan. I love the fact that she deals with racism in her book. I love her new face mold. I love that we got another Asian gold of the year. I love that she's Chinese. I love her simple sweater and her simple boots. I love her colored hair. She is just an amazing doll, and I love that she comes with Two companion dolls. That is awesome and something we haven't seen in a while. So that was the video everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite dolls are. Please like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Bye!